we're going to have player or ball? Player or ball? Uh, player. Player? It's going to be player. Um, serve. Serve? Have a good match, guys. Match. Merci. Sinner, he commence à servir. So Sinner will serve first, and it's a beautiful day. We've said that a lot, but we never get tired of saying it. Temperature currently up to 23 Celsius at 10 to 1. We'll just come up to 10 to 1 at lunchtime. And it's beautiful. My name's Chris Bowers. Alongside me is Gilles Muller. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one because of the slight contrast in styles, but I find also Altmaier a very elegant player to watch. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Very nice game. Very beautiful one-handed backhand. But also, yeah, looking forward to see Sinner again. Looked very good in the first round. Definitely one of the, of the players to watch in this tournament this year. Daniel Altmaier is ranked 79. He's 24 years old from Kempen, which is not far from Dusseldorf. 1 meter 88 is 6 foot 2. Broke onto the scene at Roland Garros in 2020, the autumn Roland Garros, when he reached the round of 16 as a qualifier. One minute. I think uh, he's, a good, he's in reasonably good form. He. Uh, Got to the quarterfinals in Madrid as a lucky loser. He also won the Sarasota Challenger Tournament. His victory in the first round over Marc-Andre Hussler was his first Grand Slam main draw win since Wimbledon in 2021. He reached a career-high ranking of 53 in May 22 after winning the Challenger title in Heilbronn, one of seven Challenger titles he's won. Six of them on clay, so that's definitely his best surface. And he says that his favorite shot is his backhand because he admired Roger Federer and Stan Wawrinka as a kid. Apart from English and German, which you'd expect him to speak, he also speaks Russian. Yannick Sinner is world number nine, eighth seed, fifth on this year's form. Age 21 from San Candido, that's the Italian name of where he comes from. Inishin is the German name. One meter 88 is six foot two. Much tipped rising star, but still to make his really big breakthrough. He's had a steady clay court season, semi final in Monte Carlo, quarter final in Barcelona, round of 16 in Rome. Before that, on the hard court, he won Montpellier, was runner up in Miami in Rotterdam, semi final Indian Wells, and got to the round of 16 at the Australian Open, where he lost to Stephen Stefanos Tsitsipas in five sets. Got to the round of 16 here last year, where he retired against Andre Rublev. In 20 and 21, he lost to Rafael Nadal. In 20, got to the quarterfinals. And his his uh, career high ranking is eighth from April this year. He has seven titles, including the 500 level tournament in Washington as a 19 year old. He's reached the quarterfinals of all four Grand Slam tournaments, but he hasn't been beyond the quarterfinals in any of them. Three minutes. And that is the Sinner bench. You can see Darren Cahill in the back. Cahill's been coaching Sinner this year, along with Simone Vagnozzi. They've played once before. That was at the US Open last year. First round, a five-setter. Sinner winning 5-7-6-2-6-1-3-6-6-1. And while I think, Gilles, of Sinner as the favourite here, it could be close. Yeah, it definitely can. I mean, obviously, Altmaier has a very solid baseline game. He needs to be careful not to be pushed back too far behind the baseline. That's what Sinner likes. Sinner likes to, to put pressure on his opponents, push them back, and then take the ball early. But if Altmaier is able to, to stay closer to his baseline, take time away from, from Sinner, well, then he definitely has a chance today. But it's very tough to do because Sinner hits a big ball, goes through the ball, very heavy ground strokes. Sinner is my pick to get to the final from the bottom half of the draw because it's very top heavy. Uh, Medvedev's now gone out. Rude is not, I mean, he's, he's on court now. He's not been playing that well this year. I wonder whether the time is right for Zinner. I mean, he definitely has the game to, to, to win a slam. That's, that's 
to me very obvious, but uh, as you mentioned before, I mean, he never got past the quarterfinals. Is it going to be his year this year? Well, hopefully, totally deserves it. He's working very hard, did a few changes in the off-season, worked on his surf. So, spent a lot of time in the gym, he said, trying to to live healthier also because he had those little injuries in the past year sometimes that kept him off the court for a week here, a week there, and um, Ready. he's trying to, to play full seasons Ready. now. Sinner won the toss and chose to serve. He's also a former skiing champion. He was national giant slalom champion yeah. at the age of eight and runner-up at the age of 12. But surely after that, his dad said, look, you've got to pick. <laughs> and he chose tennis because it's more in his grip. It's more one-to-one -one combat than just trying to ski down a mountain. I once read something that he said that actually tennis is a lot easier than skiing because in skiing you do one mistake, you're out of the race. Yes. In tennis you can do a mistake over and over again, you're still in the match. Yeah. I mean, it's the same with golf. If you or certainly match play, uh, uh, stroke play golf. Yeah. You have a bad hole, that's on your round. Yeah. You, you have a terrible couple of games and in, in, you might lose the set, but you can still win the match. Yeah, absolutely. His racket company is the same as his skiing company. <laughs> he had the same skis or, or skis from that company. very dangerous you can see Altmaier right away from the return on being very far behind the baseline not able to come back to get close to it again and that's where Sinner feels very comfortable Good hands there from Sinner at the net. <laughs> it's very fashionable to stand a long way back, especially on clay to receive serve. It, it is, but um, I think after you hit the return, you should try and get closer to it and not stay there. I think the repositioning is very important on clay. It's the surface, once you lose that position, it's actually very tough to get it back. Roberto Mancini, coach of Daniel Abmeyer. Former top ten player himself. Abmeyer, love one, first set. That's a nice back we've been talking about. Cancel. Makes it look very easy. Oh, nice tennis from, from Altmaier, trying to dictate the rally. Hansel. That's what you have to do against Sinner. Take away time from him. That's the position he's not feeling too comfortable in.
40-0. Tsik in there, taking it up the line, following to the net. Looks like he has a clear game plan, the German. Oh, what a game from the German. I always felt that he was a very elegant player, but based on that, he seems to have beefed up his game more. Yeah. He's playing with a lot more power. Yeah, especially off the forehand there. He's able to generate a lot of pace with it. And getting seen on the run there. Sinner, one all, first set. Oh, that's beautiful. As soon as Sinner drops it a bit short, Altmaier is all over him. Zero cases. There again, the backhand dropped it a bit short. Dropped just in front of the service line. And that was close. Just caught the line. Cancer. Something that Sinner is doing so well when he sees the short ball, moves up very quickly to it. Tomkins. Sina trying to mix it up there with the drop shot. Like the idea. Altmaier was ready for it. Showed some good hand skills there. A little bit of pressure now for Sinner. 30 all. It seems that he doesn't feel the pressure. <laughs> First ace of the match. This is lovely tennis. Nine minutes played, just great to watch. It's with serve. Sinner leading 2-1. This Altmaier is confident. Yeah. Well, how, how long it'll last remains to be seen. That's the thing. I mean, he's. I think he's playing close to his best now at the moment. But yeah, he's able to 
keep going like that for whole match. What are the shots that Altmaier has that Sinner won't normally play? Is, is there a heavier slice? I think he's using the slice much more than Sinner. That's something that, that I, I think that Sinner should add to his game. I mean, he's, what he does, he's maybe one of the, maybe not the best in the world, but uh, he's definitely up there, but he's hitting the ball so well from Wilson. But yeah, the variety there is, is not always there. Using the slice, maybe coming in sometimes also. Reverse angle camera looking up to the commentary boxes. That's from north to south. Altmaier, one, two, first set. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was a rocket. Cancel. I mean, he was actually, again, far behind the line there, but just went for that one. What a beauty. Well, he's, yet to, he's yet to drop a point on serve. Gonna try to attack that second serve. Sinner. Something he does very well is way inside the baseline to hit that one. Yeah, that sends a signal, doesn't it? Yeah. It's gotta get a lot of first serves in, especially on the big points. with the start of, of the match so far. Yes, he coached Guillermo Correa for a long time. He was Correa's coach when Correa got to the final here, had match points in the final in 2004. And lost to Gaston Gaudio. Sinner, two all, first set. That's nicely done. Puts a lot of spin, a lot of shape on that forehand. Good depth. Zero cans. And so far, Sina really struggling to, to find a way past Altmaier.
Casa. One of the first unforced errors we've seen from Altmaier. At least feels like it. Ah, good combination there. Big first serve. Unable yes. to get the forehand in play afterwards. Yeah, that's when he's struggling out when he has to hit that back in above his shoulder. He's unable to get a lot of spin on that serve, bouncing up very high. That was the Nadal tactic against yeah. Federer, wasn't it? Yeah. Make him play the back end above shoulder height. Points for 3 2. He might have got that on the Philippe Chatrier court, where there's a much bigger run back and space at the side. Here the geraniums got in the way. Sinet leading 3-2. And the size of the court has been a bit of a discussion point, because if you remember in Madrid, mm. there, was, uh, there was a couple of players who were actually and their backswing hitting the back fence <laughs> because they're used to so much more space. I feel sorry for the geraniums there. Just teaches them to take the ball earlier and don't go back that far. Well, yeah. I mean, Monica <laughs> Sellers always used to say the reason that she took the ball so early was that she had to practice in a car park where there wasn't enough space. Yeah. But it is surprising nowadays how far some of the players stand for the for the return of I serve. I know, I know. Rude in particular. Yeah, Rude, Medvedev also. Medvedev a long oh, way nice. back, yeah. And Nadal. He is absent. We hope to see him next year. Altmaier, 2-3, first set. Yep, just behind. One of the first times that Sene is able to get himself into the position to dictate the rally from the baseline on the Altmaier serve. It's to find the right balance there. Maybe put a bit more shape on his return with more depth. Trying to give himself a bit more time to get closer to the baseline. Oh, that's 
textbook tennis there from Altmaier, using the white surf to open up the court, attacking the open space, coming to the net. Callum Kempis. Can't play that one any better. Points for three all. Well caught by that man in the front row. May have saved a geranium. This was having been in the fourth round and played a couple of matches on the Chatry Arena. This will not phase Altmaier. No, definitely not, no. The opponent, yes, but not the occasion. Sinner, three all, first set. Last game with the old balls. Let premier service. Okay, there, Sinner. Zero kills. Tried to go for the shorter angle there. Uh, he's going to be disappointed with that one, Altmaier. It's a good chance, second serve. Able to hit a forehand. And then just overplayed it, overcooked it. Punch again. Big serve, big forehand. Well played. And now the frustration of having missed that second serve return. Yeah. So he'd have break points if it wasn't for that. Look at this backhand now. He's doing a lot of damage with, with the down the line shots he takes. And he goes for those, creates a disbalance, gets the short ball. And again, half a chance here for. The German, 30 all. Last time Sinner was able to come up with a big first surf. Not this time. Oh, that's a bad error. I thought that Altmaier had dropped the return too short. Looking at the first break point of the match. 
And surprisingly, it's for Altmaier. Merci. Long. Yeah, surprisingly, in the sense of Sinner being the number eight seed, but it's not surprising based on the first seven games of play. Altmaier is worthy of his lead. 4 3, the German leads with the break. Oh, he, as you recognize right at the beginning, Gilles, he had his plan mm -hmm. and he's playing to it. And, and he's making the backhand work. I find that the single-handed backhand, there's not that many of them left, but the single-hander tends to work better on clay because the, the single-hander hits as fast through, sometimes faster than the two-hander, but they can be pro it can be problematical when the ball is coming at them and they have to defend with it. But on clay, you've got that fraction of a second longer. This is why I think maybe Sitsipas is best chance of winning a major here. Yeah, I, I think it, it can be an advantage. I mean, obviously, we saw also the problem when he has to hit above his shoulder, which is also on clay. It's, it's, it's easier to do as an opponent to, to put more spin on the ball. It's bouncing higher. But if, yeah, if Altmaier is, is able to hit it on, on uh, waist height, then it's, it's, it's good. We saw it. <laughs> Yeah, so far, Atma is doing a very good job. He's moving very well. Puts himself very often in a position where he's able to hit that back end on waist tight. He has the new balls now with which to serve at four games to three. There it is again. It's coming off the strings at a tremendous rate. Cancel. And it's the fourth backhand winner for Altmaier. He uses the left hand well on that stroke. As he hits the ball, the left hand goes backwards, which helps the balance. Snatched a bit at that one. Nice hitting. Too much pressure there for Altmaier. Who was pushed back further and further there. Castrant. Sinner unleashing some big ground strokes there. And Sinner not winning many of those long rallies. Only two from eight so far when there's more than eight shots. Altmaier at 15.30. Yeah, 
and Sinner now playing with a bit more patience. You can see a few times in this rally, putting more shape on the ball, just has, uh, 40. happy to go right through the middle with a lot of depth, taking away the angles from Altmaier, and it's paying off. There's two chances here to get the break back right away. Advantage of the first serve is that the return dropped short. Yeah, so far, my looking very good behind that first serve. She's won 11 from 14 points behind it. Still break point. Well, he can't just roll the second serve in. He has to go for a half-decent one, but that was a, a sloppy game from Daniel Altmaier, and his advantage is gone. Yeah, but you could see a little adjustment there from, from Sinner in this game. Took some pace off his ground strokes, put a bit more shape on it, went a lot through the middle. Sinner at four all. Oh! Was he right to go for is? such a big forehand? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, he's got back into this set by being more patient. Exactly. And, uh, well, obviously, I mean, it was a ball sitting in the middle of the court, so you have to, to be aggressive with it, but play with margin, stay away from the lines. And just accept maybe to have to hit another shot after. On that one, he just wanted to finish the point. Cancel. Absolutely smack on the junction of center line and service line. It's a clean white mark at that junction. Recovery from Sinner. Tromke. Sinner is very impressive when he's on the run like that. He always somehow keeps his balance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I, I think that's helping him a lot. Well, Djokovic, I think, has that. You can see Djokovic skied. Just yeah. the, the use of his hips and his ankles. And the way he can set himself when he's pushed wide on his backhand side. Well played. Oh. Callum Kings. Fifth forehand winner. For Sinner in this set. One double fault each now. Oh, Byers came on a break point. Come oh. 
Sinner. Sinner holds to 30. Puts the pressure on Altmaier, who will have to serve to stay in the first set in a minute at 4-5. Yes, he's looking to regain the confidence in her in those big shots. Yeah, but he's still, I mean, that first point of the last game where he went for that one to try and go for the line, I think that's where he needs to be careful. Play aggressive, I think, is 100% the right way to do. But Controls play, aggression. Yeah, play with a bit more margin. But he did very well to get the break back very quickly here. The winner of this match plays either Emil Rusevori or Grigor Dimitrov in the third round. Fourth round, likely to be Sverev or Tiafo. Quarterfinals, well, who knows? It's, <laughs> it's too far away. <laughs> well, this is the Medvedev <laughs> section of the draw, so who knows? Yeah. Europees. Maybe Cybot Vild, who knows? Altmaier at 4-5, first set. Zero. from both men. It's he kept this calm there, Altmaier. It didn't panic. Able to find a great angle there. to that. Tromkens. That one could come back to bite him. The whole court was open. Fault. Two gifts Hunter. for Sinner. Brings him back to 30 all and well some pressure now on Altmaier. Four five thirty all. Easy shot to hit. No. But good moment to find a serve like that. Count
Sinner and five all, first set. This is wonderful tennis. Zero cameras. And also a big reaction after the point from Altmaier. Showing Sinner that he means business. It's a shame. What a return. Such a crisp backhand return off the body. Yeah. Actually, this time he was able to get Sinner off balance. a good point that deserved a clean smash to win it look at this all six oh, strokes all brilliant except the last one oh, we saw sin already early on in the match struggling with the overhead from that side i think they're looking right into the sun from that side just wonderful tennis Sinner. Would have been 30 all had Altmaier made the smash. Sinner following up with the ace. Means he leads now six games to five. Kind of feels like in that last game. I mean, there's a lot of ifs, but I think Altmaier had a chance to do much better there. So the point at 15 all when he had a beautiful return off the back end. Got the short ball, but then missed. This is our 30 15 point. Just enjoy all these, well, five of the six strokes. It's a good serve out wide. That's a really clever return. The low volley, <laughs> lovely angle on it. Look how he's read by Altmaier with the lob. Now, how difficult is this shot to play? <laughs> the tween a lob. The high pace. Altmaier serving to take the first set into the tie break.
Again, the lob to the player at that end. The northern end, the president's box end. No, but this time Sinner did a good job, just let it bounce. Took his time. Double fault. And Sinner again, two points away from winning this first set. I'm getting his first serve at the moment. He was under a lot of pressure in this rally. But what he does so well is in those moments, he plays with a lot of shape, with a lot of spin. And then as soon as there's a short one that he can attack, right away he's there and takes his chance. point. He did so well there. Altmaier again. Again, it was Hold Sinner on. dictating the rally, but Altmaier just resisting. So that's to go over eight shots. Altmaier is winning most of them. I do get the feeling, though, that Sinner has an extra gear to go to. Altmaier is playing at his limit. Thirty all. But Excellent serve. Two hundred nine kilometers. He should be a professor at some German university. <laughs> Take off the bandana and put some papers in front of him. Point for the tiebreak. <laughs> and he holds. Big effort here from the German. Si je bato, je décisif. Jeu décisif is part of official tennis French. Most clubs in France, they'll call it le tie break, <laughs> but uh, officially it is the decisive game. And again, Sinner able to find the line with the surf. A zero. Sinner.
2-0. bit too easy there for Sinner. Looked like he was falling back off that backhand rather yeah. than going forward through it. Yeah, falling back and then also taking it up the line. I mean, it's tough to do that when you're falling back. So I'm not sure that was the right shot selection there. And it gets a double break here. Has a little cushion now. Finds another big first serve. This tiebreak could be over very quickly. Oh. This is very good serving from Sinner. Two he served from the deuce court have been absolutely down the tee. 203 kilometers that one. And there is that extra gear that we, you were talking about. Yeah. At least on the surf. Yeah, Altmaier's lost his way. Six, zero. Sine. Looking at his fingers, I don't know whether there's a, a blister or something. Yeah, but it's his left. Yes, which he left hand, which he doesn't use even for the backhand. I think this set's pretty much gone for Altmaier. But he can fight. Love six. Well, I have to say that Altmaier's level dropped. Sinner's went up. And as a result, Sinner takes the, the first set. Seven loves the tie break, 54 minutes. Deuxième manche, au service Altmaier. Almeyer to start the second set. Zero. 
40-0. That's a good reaction here from Altmaier. Yeah, just a slight drop off of intensity from Yannick Zinner. Premier jeu, deuxième match. Altmaier holds for one love. I need a glove, a cup, where they have to put the ice so I can put my cup. But no water, no water, only ice, they said. Put ice, put, tell them to just put ice. Après. So he wants to put his finger in ice. So that's not a blister then. No. I'm trying to work out what that would be. Unless he's been stung. Well, maybe, yeah. Surely then he'd ask for the physio just to give him something to... I don't know. Sinner, so love one. from that defensive position there. Yeah, Sinner looking very good on serve. High percentage of making the first serve, 72% so far. And then winning 75% behind it. Solid numbers there. Went for that back end down the line again there. Altmaier, one all, second set. Oh. Yeah. 
Too much to handle there. Not doing enough damage there with the second serve. Zero kills. Still able to take that one very early. Put early pressure on. Yeah, and actually, Altmaier has the same numbers on the first serve. Also very high first serve percentage, 69%, and then winning 79 behind it. But he's struggling a lot behind that second serve, only winning 31% so far. Car on to He's looking for signs about whether he's righted the ship after the awful tiebreak he played. Helps the help my cause. Any of that ball hit the strings of Tina's racket. Ball frame. Help my leads 2 1, second set. And the umpire's off his chair. I think he's trying to help Altmaier get whatever he needs. Yeah, he's actually the umpire is taking ice out and putting it in a glass without any water. It's a very personal service. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. The umpire waiting on the uh, player. But it'd be fascinating to know what the problem is. Sit out, one, two, second set. Casero.
Oh, yeah, that... I saw that wide. Altmaier didn't even look for the mark. I oh, know, it's been even good. Tonka. Well, it was very close, though. the same success as in the first set with that back end down the line. No, he missed it the return. Yeah. And I wonder if that put him off. <laughs> that was the perfect backhand down the line. And as soon as to his credit, got a racket on it and very nearly got it back. Look at this. And it's very impressive because he's able to hit it from positions where mm. it's not so easy to do it. He was almost on the defensive then. Yeah. Look, and also there he's falling a little bit back. Yeah, dropped the return a little bit short and got punished right away. Yes, I felt he was Altmaier was guilty of just watching that ball rather than assuming that it was going to go in. We say that to youngsters, don't we? Just assume that your ball's going in. Don't watch it. Otherwise, you'll be late for the next one. Altmaier, two all, second set. It's in a giving Altmaier a taste of his own medicine there. With the back and down the line. Service. Mm. Zero Gotta be careful here. Too many of those away. Love 30 now. Let's 
Comenzamos. Big chance here for Sinner. Love 30, second surf. I'm sure he's going to try to be all over this surf now. Yeah. Great return right down the middle. A lot of depth. Three break points for Yannick Sinner. Saw the gap. Gas uh, It didn't look like he was in the right position to go for that one, though. A little bit off balance. Recovered from half mile. Yeah, he was under a lot of pressure there, but resisted again. Break point. <laughs> three back and mistakes from Sinon. All three break points. Counter. Terrible drop shot from Sinner. But Altmaier is doing actually now what Sinner did to get the break Altmaier. back in the first set. He's going a lot through the middle, not giving any angles to Sinner. And it's been working. It's forcing Sinner to go for, for shots that he doesn't want to. This would be a really good service hold. Oh, no, surely not. It's a white mark on the line. Yeah. Fortunately, there was no... It wasn't a clean winner off the serve. What is Alice for serve? What language is he speaking? Spanish? Yeah, I, I, th think so, huh? I thought that was a bit of Spanish. Mancini does speak good English. Egalitude. 
Maybe didn't do enough with that dry volley. Dropped a bit short. Gave Sinner the time to, to go for, for a passing shot. But actually, he did very well to recover because he slipped on the baseline. Yeah. So to get that drop shot, Avantage, uh, this one, to get this was pretty amazing. To push it up the line like that. Yes, he apologised for not hitting that cleanly off the middle, but I think he earned his luck by then. Yes, that, <sighs> right on the line. A little bit open-faced. That is a really good service hold from Love 40 down. Altmaier leading 3-2, second set. If it had been the other way around, I'd say it made a turning point. I'm not sure, because I think Sin is still in control of this. But that's a really good confidence booster for Altmaier. Absolutely, yeah. He did very well there. But in general, since the beginning, he's showing very good attitude on the court. And also shows that confidence. Yes. There's an intensity. This is the last point of the game. Look at the reaction. Just long. Cancel. Zero. Yeah, overcooked that return. Yeah, he's a bit frustrated with that one. He's overplaying that one a little bit too much now. The back end. He's missing more now than he makes. A very quick game for Sinner. Quick and painless. And that very much. Put, keeps the pressure on Altmaier. Yeah. 
Altmaier, three all. Second set. Wait, please. Lovely nice. point again. Likes how he keeps his calm in those situations and very often plays the right shot. He saw that Sinner was very far behind the baseline, that the drop shot didn't have to be that good. There again, sometimes, I mean, when, when you coach players and you tell them go through the middle, they don't understand, but it's actually a very effective shot. It cuts down the angles exactly. that your opponent can answer with. Cuts down the angles and it also, the opponent has to move very quickly to get out of the way, to get a clean hit. And in this situation, you could really see that Altmaier was being rushed there. Fit it hard down the middle, a lot of depth. It's, it's a very tough shot for the opponent. probably doesn't look as nice as a winner on the line. <laughs> well, everyone's tempted to go for the glory shot every now and again, aren't they? He's missed it. The umpire's off his seat, and we'll check. That's right in line with our commentary position. I thought that was wide. Yep. Oof. By Alexandre Robin. Robin, sorry, the B. Tromke. Still Altmaier winning a lot of those longer rallies. 17 from 22. If the rally's over eight shots. From Sarah. Yeah. Good game for Daniel Atmaya. Four three, the German leads. Second set. It's quite demanding, isn't he, at the chair? <laughs> I was going to say, but he's not even putting his finger in no, the ice anymore. Exactly. These uh, stars of stage and screen wanting uh, all <laughs> sorts of things in their dressing room. <laughs> oh. 
Europas. Temperature will be getting close to its maximum of 27 Celsius. 80 Fahrenheit around now. The next two, two and a half hours will be the heat of the day. Or the peak of the heat of the day. Sinner, 3 4, second set. waste from Altmaier. Did he have the chance to go flat on that second shot? I guess he had a chance, but it's a tough one. I mean, he again had to hit it above his shoulder, so to get to generate power from there, it's, it's not easy. Sinner looking very solid on serve in this second set. Has barely lost any points. Two actually. Good angle there from Sinner on that forehand, forcing Altmaier to go for something big. Nicely done. And he's very quick on his first steps to to launch himself oh, towards okay. the net there. It was neither a flick nor a slice, just a gentle guiding the ball. Shows what good hands he has. He's got a little bit of the Fabio Fanini about him <laughs> in, his, in his body language. They're very different characters. <laughs> but some of the ways he wanders between points. The way he's grimacing, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. Altmaier for all, second set. Sun is now very high, so I suspect it's going to trouble them wherever they are. In theory, the sun is behind Altmaier. Cancel. Oh. Shouldn't bother him so much from this end, but I think it's high enough to bother both of them wherever they are on court. Oh, 
mixing it up nicely there, Altmaier, using the slice as well. Yeah, the slice has drawn a few errors from yeah. Zinner. From yeah. He's just forcing it a bit too much there, Sinner. You can actually feel he wants to, to finish the point quickly, wants to avoid to, to play the longer rallies. We've seen before that Altmaier is winning most of those rallies over eight shots. How much will Sinner be aware of that? I think he's aware, I think, and I think that's one of the reasons why he's trying to force it, why, why he's trying to, to finish the points quickly. Lovely shot. <laughs> Almost deliberately takes it a fraction late to get up the line. But beautiful balance. And Altmaier leads 5-4. Second set. <sighs> so having played five sets the one time they played before, which was in the uh, US Open last year. Altmaier will be confident that he can grind this out if he needs to. Well, the, short, the sets were quite short then. The first one was 7-5. Then the rest were all, what, 6-2, 6-1, 3-6, I don't remember that match. I was at the US Open. Talking out, man. Sinner serving to stay in the second set. 4 5. Zero yeah. hmm. case. 12 unforced errors now in the second set. Is Sinner. Nicely done. Got to play there to come forward. It's a little moment of hesitation, but Cancel. worked out fine. Can be very costly. Especially at this stage.
Not the greatest drop shot. Carl Holterkens. It's a bit too high. Well, he was so far back, he had to cut under it quite a long yeah. way. Not a solid serve hold from Sinner. Sanja Bartu. Barely losing any points on serve. Five for the moment. Altmaier, five all, second set. Oh. Yeah, and first signs of frustration there from Senna. Understandable. Yes, he had such a good opener against Alexandra Miller. Yeah. No relation of yours? No. 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 He had plenty of time for that. Wasn't it? And again, another particularly good drop shot. Uh, maybe too much time. Sometimes not helping. Then you're changing your mind a few times. Where do I take it? Up the line, cross cut up the line. <laughs> and once you hit it, you don't know where we want to put it. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> Two forehands from Altmaier. Looked like he was shaping up for a drop shot, but pushed it but with a lot of angle. And then, I'm not quite sure if it was round oh, the net post, but not far off. This is the forehand. She did well there, Senna, to stay in the rally. Does this go round the net post? No, it doesn't. It goes over the high part. 40 love. Sure, right. He's built on that game. 
early on when he had to save three break points. Got his confidence back. He leads 6-5, second set. He's at least guaranteed a tiebreak again in the second set. <laughs> I think he needs a team of servants. <laughs> Still bank on Sinner in the tiebreak there. Yeah, well, he first has to get there. He has to get there, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look fairly comfortable on his serve. Yeah, true. But it happens very often that you're not expecting the break at all, and then it happens. Yeah, yeah. And when you've never really been tested on your serve, and then all of a sudden your opponent plays one or two good points, you're facing love 30 or 15, 30, you feel the pressure which you didn't feel during the whole set. Let's see if that happens. Sinner at 5 6, second set. Dale, dale. One. As you were saying. Is <laughs> okay? Actually, again, a cheap point there from Sinner. And Faltman is now playing a good point. Love 30. Pressure's on. Yep. have those mistakes in those moments. It's easier said than done, obviously, but you can't just make gifts like that at love 15. He's worked hard to get himself into this position, Altmaier. Oh, that was close, but Sina seems very confident. And he's right. Trankens. That was a long way long. The perfect point up to then. Yeah, and I think that one is actually tougher to miss than to make it. Well, the only thing I'd say technically is that he didn't set himself. There was no split step. He just raced straight into it. Yeah, exactly. And also trying to hit it. And the volley just place it. The court was wide open. Oh, it's not having much success. I think those pressure points at 30 all. Only one from four that he's won. Altmaier is just two points away from the set. Again, a very long serve. He's struggling to find first serves in this game. in front of the baseline there. Oh. 
I wonder if that took a bad bounce. Or maybe Altmaier didn't expect the depth. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of pace on that one and depth. Second tie break. Si je parto, je décisif. Sensible tactic. You know your opponent has to guess one way or the other. Go down the middle. Oh. And it's won one more point in this tie break than he won in the last. <laughs> and you can really see there that Asin is not feeling too comfortable at the net. It wasn't an easy volley the first one, but you could see he didn't know what to do with it. Didn't know where to place it. Altmaier with the first mini break. One of the shots there that was nowhere near struck off the middle, but he got away with it. And Simone Vagnozzi on his feet. Kilometers out wide. In the early days at the speed measuring guns, it was. You always had to add an extra little, a couple of uh, kilometers an hour on for the serve out wide, but they've corrected that now, and it's very much the pace that comes off the racket, whichever the direction. Tremendous use of the whole court from Altmaier. And I like the way how he's trying to change the rhythm also. One Cut. point though. Uh, Went for Altmaier. a, a forehand with a lot of shape on it. Not very fast.
Kat Hudder, Altmaier. Second ace of this set for Sinner. Yes, with a serve his big, you expect more in a tie-break set. Yeah, and his first serve percentage dropped a lot. It's down to 53% in this second set. Hasn't lost many points, though, on serve. The crowd are trying to get a wave going. It's a very silly time to do it. It just means they hold up play at a really crucial stage of the match. Merci beaucoup, Madame Monsieur. Now the umpire's asking for them to stop, but they won't. Les gens sont prêts, merci. And now they do. Oh. Well, two races in a row. Yes. And that's what the champions do. They produce the most important stuff at the right time. Even though he still has the mini break, I mean, the lead now from 4 1 to 4 3. Yes, pressure on these two service points for Daniel Altmaier. Expect. Yeah, it feels like the intensity wasn't there in that last shot. Cinq, trois. He hit a good return and Altmaier. To me, it looked like he was in the commanding position in this rally, but yeah, that last back and just big lack of intensity. But Altmaier couldn't care less. He's happy to win that point. Yep, take them however you can get them. There's a miss hit return of serve. Six, three, Altmaier. So three set points for Daniel Altmaier. The first two will be on the sinner serve. Yeah. Again, finding a big first serve. Six, four, Altmaier. Chip that one back on the forehand. A little passive. Six, yeah. We haven't seen that so far. Maybe tension getting to him there. He could be forgiven for that. Yeah. One hour, 59 minutes played. Altmaier with his third set point. This one on his own serve. Oh, that was a tight forehand. Six part But Tina did well there. It was a good first serve. But he got good depth on that return. Making it impossible for Altmaier to. Get inside the baseline.
Six all in the second set tiebreak. Really good serve. 200 kilometers an hour. Give him set a fourth set point. Six, seven. Again, that missed by a long way. Mm, yeah, also, that forehand return there was very tentative. Had no, nothing on it, no speed, no depth. Set battle. Can't do that against a player like Sinner. He's going to punish you right away. Well, especially as the second serve was yeah. quite safe. Long. The return of serve was also Three short sets. on the service line. So a fifth set point for Altmaier and the second on his own serve. As soon as 19th unforced errors in this in this set. And that was very tentative at the end. Another bad drop shot from Sinner. Very much better. But this match has had some quality tennis and it's a set all. Troisième manche, le service Sinner. Sinner starting the third set. Some nice hitting there from Sinner. Picking up where he left off in the second set. If you take away the tie break, looking very, very good on serve.
Carl Kenz. Premier service. And he'll miss it there on the return. Maltmeyer. And Sinner takes the lead in his third set. One love. Yeah, and actually, this is something that's when, I, when I'm looking at Sinner, I mean, he's obviously a great player and then one of the best, if not the best player from the baseline, but doesn't really have a plan B when things are not working out. I mean, you can clearly see he's struggling to get past Altmaier from the baseline. Does he have the weapons for a plan B, though? No, does but that's what I mean. He doesn't have them, no. No. Doesn't, doesn't change it up, doesn't, doesn't really have a good back and slice from the baseline. He reminds me a bit of a modern-day Thomas Birdie. Can say on. Yeah. Big hitter, no real weakness, but a little bit inflexible. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's a bit similar. I mean, if you, if you would add... It doesn't have to be the, the pet raft at the net, but, I mean, if you just could put volleys away at the net, that would help him so much. Basic volleys, and surely it's one of the things I, I remember with Federer when he started going to the net more. It took him six months to get comfortable. You know, volleys are things that if you don't use them, you lose them. Yeah, absolutely. I think the best example is, is Rafael Nadal. I mean, in the beginning when he was playing, he was three, four meters behind the baseline, ripping uh, forehands, but he added that to his game and he became so much better with it. I mean, if you add decent volleys to Sinner, just imagine, I mean, he's ripping the balls from the base and then he's coming forward and uh, at all the extra pressure that you, he, he would add to his opponents. Mind you, being coached by Darren Cahill, I would imagine that Cahill will see that and will be working out how he can build extra things into this inner game. But I think it's something that he's aware of because he said already many times that it's something that he's trying to work on, trying to, to work on in, in the off-season and to add to his game. But it's what, what you're saying, you have to try maybe during a period to do it also in matches. force yourself and do it. I mean, maybe sometimes you have to accept that you have to take a step back, maybe to take two steps forward. Yeah. Also, how much of an off-season do we have these days? I mean, if you're playing in the Davis Cup final, it's five weeks. Yeah, but, but I think you can work as much in, it, in the off-season. You have to do it also in matches. You have yeah. to force yourself to do it. Yeah. Even if it means losing a couple, you would otherwise win. Exactly. 
Oh. Yeah, he's made that. Seems like there was a little bit of anger in that one. Yes. <laughs> Some venom in, in, in his game, but Altmaier is equal to it. Yeah, and you can see Altmaier not going for a big pass there. He's trying to make Sinner hit the volleys. And also there again goes right down the middle. Interesting that uh, deliberately let that land and had his arm up See against the sun. So it clearly is a factor. We remain on serve in the third. Sinner leads 2-1. Still have a feeling that it's Sinner's match. But uh, he's being stretched. Yeah, he definitely has to ha work very hard for it. But I agree. I, I think he's, if he finds that extra gear, he's definitely the better player. But I have to say, uh, Altma is playing really well out there. Yeah. He's not going to go away that easily. No, I feared for him if. At six all in the second set tiebreak, I thought if he'd lost the tiebreak, oh, yeah, yeah. then I think Sinner could have gone quite quickly through the third set. I agree. Two hours, 22 minutes. Two sets played. One for each man. Altmaier, 1-2, third set. Prenez place rapidement, mesdames, messieurs, merci. S'il vous plaît. Well, they used the whole width of the court on that point. Zero counts. We really like that jumping backhand. You remember the first one to do that? Rios. Yeah, exactly. Marcelo Rios, beautiful player, slightly troubled person.
You know what, Rios is the only man in uh, tennis history ever to... He holds a status. Not one he'd probably like, although it's not too bad. Which one is that? He's the only man to have topped the world rankings without ever winning a major. Oh, true, yeah, yeah. There's three women. Rios is the only man. Got to world number one after reaching the Australian Open final and winning Indian Wells and Miami, but never won a major. Aggressive from Sinner, and it's earned him three break points. But it feels like there's a lot more intention than his ground strokes. He's really going through the ball with the forehand. But the big difference, he's not going for the lines, he's not going for the winners. He's playing with that extra margin that you were saying in the first set he should. Well, we had a game like this, a two-all in the second set, and Altmaier came back from Love 40 to hold. And he was in that position in the second set as well, Love 40. Couldn't convert. Yeah, just looking there, after a really assertive point to go to Love 40, Sinner stayed three metres behind his baseline. Yeah. Excellent serve. Very quickly, two chances got away. Still one left. What a backhand to come up with on break point. And look at the reaction. Vagnozzi, Cahill and Co are up out of their seats. Because I thought he was on the back foot in that point. Yeah. Just look how close he was to the advertising hoardings to play this one. Almost took the uh, line umpire's kneecap off. <laughs> So Sinner gets the break. They exchange breaks in the first set. It's not the first break of the match. Just finding something extra. Some big hitting from both players. Cancero. Again, the jumping back and way inside the baseline. It's had the effect of just putting Altmaier off his range. Not missing by much, but enough. Oh, 
Nice return right down the middle. A lot of depth on it. Tompkins. Shot. Not the best approach by Sinner. You know, he also started very far behind there. So you need to be very quick there to get forward. He hasn't even reached the, the service line there to play that first volley. This now becomes a big point. There's a big serve, 202 kilometers. It's only one break of serve, but it looks a big lead. Four games to one, Sinner leads. Third set. It's actually the first time in this match that you see that you can see the difference of the rankings there. Yeah, yeah. Altmaier's career high was 53. He's currently 79. Sinner's career high was eight, which is a few weeks ago, and he's now nine. Now, very important for Altmaier to keep his calm. Not panic. And obviously, Sinner played very well the last few games now, but still only one break. Yes, and he's got a chance even if he loses this set. I wonder whether Sinner will just feel freed up with that 4 1 lead. Altmaier at 1 4. Cancel. He's freed up on that backhand, but dumped it in the net. It's lost a bit of its shape at the moment, the match. It's had some great tennis in it. It's like both players are taking a slight breather from it, because you can't take a breather. <laughs> got to carry on. enough to get himself into a good position to hit that back end. Almost a similar point as the first one in this game. Forehand from Altmaier. It's the first sign of mental tiredness. Yeah. And you can see it also in his body language, the way he walks. You can see that he's struggling a little bit at the moment. Oh. 
And that's lose from Altmaier. And I think if he loses his next point, he can kiss goodbye to the third set. That's nicely done. Didn't overdo the volley, just steered it into the open court. And how quickly things can change. Yeah. Sinamen Sangjazan. I remember in the second set he had a similar volley where he tried to hit it, missed it. This time just placing the ball is enough, just as you said, just putting it in the open space. I mean, he's got some speed of shot behind it anyway, even if yeah. it's a defensive backhand, so he can use the pace. Exactly. Just needs to guide it. Nice things we're saying about his cross court forehand volley. <laughs> he goes and plays that. Cancel. Calcans. Two marathon sets. And a very quick one here. Sinet, two set points to take the third set, 6 1. Oh. Oh. Stopped his feet there a bit too oh. quickly, oh. Sinner. Himself in the right position there. Still set point for Sinap. That's less than half an hour, that third set. Sinap leads by two sets to one. Quatrième manche, Mossave et Saltmaya. Les joueurs sont prêts, merci. Clever shot. Good 
30 à 0. It is a very good start for the German. This is the start he was looking for. Just send the message to Sinner. I'm still here. I'm not gone. Now, Altmaier to his team, Alberto Mangini, the coach. Sinner, love one, fourth set. Zero. There's no question Altmaier's got his game back. Yeah. Kaza. The question is how free does Sinner play now that he's two sets to one up? He needs to make sure to keep that intensity that he had in the in the third set. Don't relax now. about made that Tromkens That's where he's been weak today, is when he's had a, a short ball, sometimes he's put it away, but you expect him to put it away, and he's hit an awful lot of them, either just long or just wide. But there's a big difference between this game now and, and, and the third set, where he was actually much more active with his legs. He went to get that ball, was very aggressive to not wait for it. But now he's kind of yeah, waiting for it and... And maybe overplaying it because he's hitting it from further. Oh, wow. Oh! This is a very, it's very slack game from Sinner.
one from five first serves in this game. Counter. That could come back to haunt him. Yeah. Big chance, break point. You don't want to give a point away like that. Especially also the way Sinem has been playing so far in this game. Sinner dropping it very short again. Oh, couldn't get a clean hit on that back end. It's not moving the same way. I think he's hurt. Didn't see anything particular there, but... No, I didn't either. Just his energy is it's not there at the moment. He's lost his first serve. Well, the problem is he relights the fire. Yeah. He just about got it under control. That double break in the third set. Altmaier, one love, fourth set. Sorry, two love. Thank you, pardon. Zero kills. Serve right on the line. Kaza. Fine when it works. But in a way, that's the one thing he has to fall back on. Hit the forehand even harder. <laughs> he could have come in, but it was early in that point. He pushed Altmaier to his backhand. Altmaier had to slice. Nice combination from Altmaier. The wide serve and then attacking the open space. 
moving forward. Very often puts you in position to have an easy volley put away. Nice. Yeah. Right on the Retire. line. Well, this I did not expect. After such a dominant third set from Sinner, Altmaier leads 3-love in the fourth. Again, it's just the one break, but... Sinner's got to pick himself up. Yeah. And after winning a third set like that, I mean, surely this is... If he's going to feature towards the end of this tournament. He needs to be wrapping these kind of matches up in four. I agree, yeah. Not going to five. I mean, dropping them a set is fine because it's a very tight match. But then surely that thing, that, that's indefinable something that makes you a champion imposes your will on the match. Yeah, especially also because it, it doesn't feel like it was Altmaier who really picked up his level here or, or raised his level. It was. Actually, Sinner, whose, whose energy was very, very low there, and he was kind of giving that break away. Reprise. He's carrying on a constant dialogue with the uh, <laughs> with the umpire. Alexandre Robin is having to earn his keep in this match, not just by crowd management and making sure <laughs> the match is being conducted fairly, but. Oui, that, uh, Altmaier is getting all that he needs. Merci. Sinner, love three. Cancero. Kaza. And again, you can feel now he wants to finish the point very quickly. Again, if you think of some of the great tennis that was played in the first two sets, it's patchy now. The whole match has lost its shape. Another loose one. Tranta. And he's playing with fire here. And if Altmaier could get a double break here. It'd be very tough for Sinner to come back in his fourth set then.
40-30. When it works, it works. Was a short return from Altmaier. Didn't even get to the service line. So it invited the angle. So you make sure it's staying at one break for the moment. Altmaier, 3-1. Fourth set. Cancero. Again, quite an easy forehand there. Sitting in the middle of the court. and not able to capitalize on it. Three hours played. Altmaier, 3-1, fourth set. 30, 15 love. Make that 30 love. Trente zero. Pumpkins. Long. Four double fault for the German. Yeah. Yotzi and Darren Kale on their feet, trying to give a little bit of energy to their player. Drop shot. It's not the first one he's tried since the set point that he lost. Can't. Yeah. Let's break back point for Sinner. And he was also playing with margin then, not going for too much too soon. Sinner. He gets it done. 
Altmaier. We're back on serve. Altmaier leading by three games to two in the fourth set. Winner of this plays Rusevori or Dimitrov, who are on court now. Dimitrov is set and 5 2 up. In it. Two three. Fourth set. Oh, actually clever there from Altmaier. Zero kills. Both players struggling from that end with the overheads because of the sun. Yeah. Cancer. Center we saw in the third set, dictating with that big Kings. forehand. When I mentioned in the introduction that uh, Altmaier's victory over Mark Andre Husla in the first round was his first Grand Slam main draw match win since Wimbledon 21, so he hasn't played that many five setters on the tour. The sort of longest matches tend to go about three hours, if you're playing best of three. So I just wonder whether there'll be a little bit of fatigue. Sinner has so much more experience over best of five. And of course, Davis Cup's not best of five anymore. So this is the only chance they get to play best of five. It's these little errors that, Come on, oh, oh, my, that weren't really happening in the first two sets. Mm -hmm. There were points he was missing. But there's an intensity that I don't think he has at the moment. Good service came there from the Italian. Looking more solid again. More active.
Up by a three all. Fourth set. to work very hard to get past that Meyer. Oh, first point counts. really since the end of the second set that's been reminiscent of the first two sets. off the strings. Kazan. Reminds me of a bit of Vavrinka's backhand. Yeah, exactly. Just totally commits to it and just lets his arm go. Oh. down the line and that could put the energy back into him calm counts shot to make when it looked. Yeah, missed a lot more easier volleys today. That one was really tough. Alma doing a very good job of keeping that ball very low. But great hands there from Sinner. Sean Altmaier now. Back to 40 all. Carter. Yeah, having had a three love lead. Momentum at the moment with Yannick Sinner. Sinner. It's his fifth double fault. And that's the pressure that Sinner put on Altmaier there. The previous point, the second serve. Really attacked that one. So Altmaier knew it was coming now. He wanted to add a bit of extra speed there, but overcooked it. Break point. Oh. 
played. I thought he backed off too much. Egalité. Big reaction from the German. He's really looking to, to keep that energy high. Altmaier. Seeing some very unusual errors today from Sinner on yeah. those big moments. And maybe this is just the sort of slightly rough match that he has to get out of his system, but it doesn't fill me with confidence. I know the only player he has to beat today is Altmaier, but it doesn't fill me with confidence about him getting to the quarter semis final. Do you remember when he got to the quarterfinals in 2020? And he played Nadal, and for the first set, he was outstanding against Nadal. Very unlucky not to win it. But then the usual thing with Nadal, if you don't take your advantage, <laughs> yeah. take your chances early on, he will punish you mercilessly. Not often do you hear the umpire get a round of applause. <laughs> that was a nice catch. It was a nice catch. Let's go long. Over eight minutes now for this game. Yes, it's beginning to feel quite decisive. If Altmaier loses it, it's not quite like the match is over, but you feel that Sinner just has an extra bit to pick up. Nice idea. I, mean, I, I like when he's coming forward. But yeah, I mean, he's, to be honest, not making many volleys today. Just doesn't have those, those hand skills at the net. He commits to the forehand when he's just going through the ball. It's just so quick. So there, moves forward, takes it on the rise. Leaving Altmaier no chance. Get the forehand winner so far. Sinner with 15, Altmaier with 10. What? 
Avantage, Altmaier. Egalité. Both players actually struggling now to to play two good points in a row. As you're talking about the variety in, uh, well, the lack of variety in Sinner's game, I mean, there was a classic case there for a, a nice, easy slice backhand cross court into the corner. Yeah. We should have just broken it up. I mean, he won the point, so it's pointless to be too critical, but. Uh, just an example of the lack of variety. Avantage Altmaier. Interesting position for Altmaier. See where he serves. Mm. There was a slice, but went too close to the line. Sinner seems to be getting the crowd behind him. Hey, got it in. <laughs> and the way the umpire, Alexandre Robin, is saying, hey, galite, sounding more and more tired every time <laughs> he says it. Les joueurs sont prêts, merci. Three hours, 21 minutes. We're still in the fourth set. Oh, that's beautiful. What a change up. I'm assuming so I didn't see Altmaier coming into the net because. Avantage Altmaier. Sort of chance, I mean, play right onto the racket. Mm -hmm. Lovely volley. His technique is great. <laughs> Two seven volleys. Breaks the deadlock. Altmaier is still in this. Altmaier, four three, he leads. Fourth set. Well, it was essential that Altmaier won that game. Otherwise, it could have ended quite quickly. This is the second of them. It was like a late decision to come in. Yeah, but put a lot of backspin on that volley. Made it very awkward for, for Sinner. And then it becomes guesswork. Yeah. Sinner has enough topspin to have gone down the line, but he had to guess which way Altmaier would go. Wonder if we'll see Altmaier at the net a bit more, given that those last two points did it, or whether. It only worked as a surprise oh, tactic. Yeah, it seems like he has nice hands at the net as well. It 
See the shadows starting to come across. We'll have it in two phases. <coughs> That's the shadow of the roof surround coming across the court. Which we'll get onto the playing area in about 10 minutes. And then we'll get the sun coming from under the roof surround, but above Les gens sont prêts, the merci. stand. We'll have some more sun on the court for about an hour and a half. Oui, please. Merci. Prenez place, mesdames, messieurs. Les joueurs vous attendent. Merci beaucoup. I like that. The players are waiting for you. <laughs> Sinner, three, four, four set. <gasps> Goes to the German. Zero cans. Totally mistimed that backhand. Cancer. And again, we spoke about those mistakes at Love 15. I mean, it doesn't sound like they're big, but I mean, Love 15 is still a half a chance. You play a good point there, you get to Love 30, you put pressure on your opponent. Into the corner, clean the line with that backhand. Tromka. Hunter. Here we go. Thirty all. Big moment now. Oh, yeah. Two points away with a chance to, to get the break, to be able to serve this for the set. That was a chance. Car on the trente. There are many times when Sun is coming to the net. Very often Altner goes for the lob. Which is an interesting choice given how tall Sinner is. Yeah. But he has missed a few already. He has Fjord missed a couple it. of them and didn't put that one away. Well, it wasn't without its difficulties, but at least it was just to 30. 
after that marathon previous game. Puts the pressure back on Altmaier. He has to win this fourth set to keep it alive. Sinner can afford to lose it. Altmaier at four all, fourth set. a tight call. Sinner so walking straight up to the mark. And there's Sinner again going through the middle. And then you see also Altmaier when he wants to so go okay. up the line. He needs to, to go a bit closer to the lines there because it doesn't have a good angle. And kind of forced to make the mistake. Just too long. He's in trouble now. That's where a slice would have been a useful option to have. He might not have played it, but just to play it into the last 20 centimetres of the court with no, pay, with no pace. Yeah, just to mix it up a little bit. But he's had too many of those where he's just sitting there and not getting a clean hit. There again, there was some frame on it. 15.30. his range a bit, Altmaier. 15, I'm not quite sure who the rhythmic clapping is for. Two points for Zinner to break and serve for the match. As soon as he had the opportunity to come in. And he was a second on it. Still break point. Goodness me. Can't very turn. long. And now four from thirteen. 
on break points. Sinner. Wind it up, my let's get a first serve in. Almost breaking down more quickly. Avantage. The longer Sinner. rallies are going more to Zinner now. Break point number three. Serve. He's saving it up for that one. Egalité. No easy service games for Daniel Altmaier, that's for sure. there must have taken his eyes off the ball too quickly there I mean that's mental I tightness touch. isn't it yes, I think so and it looks like you said it before I mean the longer rallies in the beginning he was the one who was winning most of them but actually now he's yes, making a lot of unforced errors quick errors struggling to to go the distance. Fourth break point. For Sina to lead 5 4. <laughs> no, it's just Sina. white. Sina. And Sina breaks and will serve for the match. Sina minus Sang Jazakat. Sina leading 5 4, fourth set. It was coming, wasn't it? Yeah, you could feel it coming. And although Sinner made a few mistakes on the break points, it feels like now for the last few games that Altmer really struggling to keep up the level that he had. Which is normal. I mean, he's not used to, to be playing these kind of players week in, week out. Yes, three hours, 36. Mind you, he came through against Hussler in the first round, 6-3, 6-4, 6-4. Sinner serving for the match. 5 4, fourth set. Oh. I tell you what, Altman is not going to go away no, he's that not. easily. No. Zero <laughs> that Backhand up the line is glorious. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, no. Well, doesn't that sum up soon as day? <laughs> Zero trente. And there on those volleys, is, everything is happening with, happening with his arm. He's not going through it with the legs, stopping too early. Three kilometers on the serve. Can't stop. That's helping. A big first serve like that. Just about made it. That first one was very close to going long. Tonto. It, it is actually a tricky one, but you could see that he didn't know what to do with it. He, he didn't know if he should hit it as, an, as a smash, as an overhead, or take it as a volley. And he did, ended up doing something in between and nearly, nearly missed it. Yeah. Two points from victory. Oh. Out. Tom oh. He's lost the margin. He was playing with margin before. Doing just enough with the volley. I mean, that would have been a miraculous shot if Altman pulled it off. But he wouldn't. He wouldn't begrudge at him. He actually did a lot right there, Altmaier. He made Sina hit the volley again. This time he was. He was there, he was up for it, the Italian. <laughs> Good use of the angle by Sinner. After three hours and 42 minutes, the number eight seed. Sinner. Has match point. Deserved that because, agree, yeah. because Sinner was so tentative on the smash off the bounds. And he was really struggling to get the, to put them away those those overheads those smashes. Yeah, got it too.
Great serve. Yeah, right on the line. Good angle on it. So will he go out wide Avantage on the second Simon. match point? I think he's going to go T again. <laughs> Match point number two. No, you're right. <laughs> this is a tentative backhand by Sinner. Yeah, he's also feeling the tension, probably. Megalite. He's been playing for three three quarter hours. Yeah, so he wants to get it done now. He was thinking of coming in, but didn't trust himself. Yeah, and then he ended up in no man's land, inside the baseline. That's not where you want to stand when your opponent is hitting a ball. Avantage, Altmaier. He's facing another break point here. Oh, can't get him behind the German. Well, they all want to see a fifth set. Les gens sont prêts, merci. Merci beaucoup. For Julia Grabha and Coco Goff, who have been waiting for a while. Their next match on here. But it may be a while yet. Oh, He's missed, missed it. it. I'm sure. Wow. Well, credit to Altmaier for hanging in there. He got lucky on that first match point with the net cord, but I don't know. I didn't get the sense that Sinner was playing with great conviction. No, it felt like he was playing the points not to lose them, not to win them. Yes. Heading for a third tie break. Altmaier, five all. Oh, he's just made it. That could so easily have drifted wide. Again, a lovely point. Zero yeah, good. The point construction from Altmaier was perfect there. Maybe the volley. The first volley, long, the, yeah. the backhand volley, you should have had a bit more angle on it. All set up by that backhand down the line. Forcing that one. Zero taunt. The moment he hit that four and lost his balance, almost fell over.
That's a lovely angle. Too good. What to do anymore? Looking at his box, asking for help there. I wonder what Darren Cahill's making of this. I mean, they've been working together for six months, saw some improvements in the first, I don't know, February, March, first couple of months of this year. But I wonder if he's thinking, right, this guy's not got the mindset at the moment. The old saying, you don't win a Grand Slam in the first week, but you can lose it. <laughs> Even if you win a match, you can spend too long over it. Oh! And you see, having been oh, love 30 in this game, one winner, admittedly, but two errors from Sinner. Yeah, exactly. And it's been like that almost for the whole match. Shot that's done him a lot of service this afternoon. Carter. Has missed a couple of them. Didn't really get round that one. You could see it drifting away. Again, odd shot. Surely at that point, Sinner should hit a high lob. Advantage. Yeah. Yeah. The opponent might smash it away, but... At least give himself a chance to stay in the point. Yeah. I mean, this shot there is going... Well, if he gets it, if he gets it right, then Altmaier has a volley. Yeah. Probably a fairly simple one. Easy to make these decisions from the commentary box. <laughs> Do you ever listen back to any of the commentaries of the matches when you beat Nadal at Wimbledon or Roddick at the US Open? Do you ever listen and sort of find out what, <laughs> there was, what the commentators were saying and was it anything remotely connected with what you were thinking? Um, well, just, I don't have to answer the second question because I didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I always watched some of it, some of it but I, I actually never... I, I didn't like watching myself. <laughs> right, OK. Yeah, I, I watched some other matches because um, yeah, I needed to know some information when I played the player, but... To watch myself, I, I let the coaches do that. OK. <laughs> Play the match and it's then gone. Exactly. OK, fair <laughs> enough. Avantage. Altmaier. Again, we're back to that where he's holding back. Not going for that last forehand. I thought for a long time there's no way this was going five. I think yeah. there's now a distinct possibility that it will. Absolutely. Because 
I think Sinner is in a place where he doesn't know what, which shots he can trust. Altmaier. And Altmaier is, is thinking better at the moment. Altmaier holds and leads by six games to five. It's been a phenomenal effort from Altmaier. I mean, players who play a lot on the challenger circuit, they live for these kind of opportunities. Oh. And they've got to make the most of them. And he has so far, but it's all in vain if he doesn't come up for the win. Well, not always. I mean... Yeah, sometimes well, you can use the momentum and take it into exactly. your next tour events. I think, I mean, no matter how this match goes today, I mean, if he wins, obviously that that's that's even bigger. But even if he loses, I mean, he he was able to 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 go toe to toe oh, with nice. uh, one of the world's best players. So there's a lot of confidence you can take from that. <laughs> near to four hours now. And we're still in the fourth set. Sinner, five six, fourth set. Can zero. We shouldn't be surprised after four hours of play to see errors like this, <laughs> but it's frustrating. It is because Sinner is struggling with his first serve, it's down to 40% in this set. He's so struggling to win points behind second, only 46%. So you need to try and take advantage of that one as a second serve, try to put even more pressure on, on your opponent. Oh, that's loose. And Altmaier is just Small two problem. points away from the set, having saved two match points. Come on. Come on. It's an ace. Well, it's a good moment to find the first surf. His ninth ace of the match. Only the first in the set. Oh, what a great return. The contact point for the single-handed backhand is slightly further in front of you than for the two-hander. And that's why you sometimes struggle with a single-hander, with the ball coming to you very fast. 
But he got that timing absolutely spot on. Falling a bit short, Altmaier. This time Sinner able to, to put it away. Well, credit to him for taking it on. Yeah, Avantage, Sinner. Yeah, after missing a few of those in the last few points. Second point for the tie break. This is now where Sinner feels the pressure. I mean, the previous point, he hit it to the back end. Altmaier came up with the winner down the line. Now hit it to the forehand, and again, coming up with the break return. So really start to doubt yourself. Oh. All right shot. Just a little long. Avantage, Sinner. I feel like momentum now is on on the German side. They're not looking happy at all. You don't feel that maybe breaking at 6-5 was his best chance? Yeah, yeah maybe. But on the other hand, he could have been in the in, in the locker rooms like two yeah. ten minutes ago or 15 minutes ago when Sinner was serving for it. Well, when he had that smash off the bounce on the second match point. Yeah. That was a long way long. And it's actually one of the first times that I've seen Sinner use the, the, the forehand with that much shape going through the Altmaier backhand, forcing him to hit it above his shoulder. And it's Sinner with the early mini break here. Gives it back right away. Does it need to be that close to the line? I don't think so. I mean, I've said it many I times. But I think you can really feel when he's really on it, when he's focused, then he's staying away from the lines, playing aggressive with margin. But then when he's feeling the pressure, he's trying to go for too much.
Three points against the serve at the start of the tie break. Altmaier. Clearly holding your serve has gone out of fashion. That is lovely touch. Yes, you're not finding a way past Altmaier there at the net. And he's coming forward more. Yeah, Altmaier. Altmaier. Just long. Yeah, Sina got lucky there. That was very close. And you can see Sina when he's walking. It's not the same body language that he had in his first round. No, definitely not. Still two matches to come on this court. It's already five o'clock in the afternoon. Graber against Goff, followed by Rinder Kanesh against Fritz. Could be a late finish on the long lane tonight. <coughs> Senna, three all. Clever shot from Daniel Altmaier, Altmaier, dropping the ball at Sinner's feet. Yeah, he's been doing that a few times already. He keeps that back and defensive back and slice very low. Making Sinner hit a volley below the net. And it's Altmaier again with the break. 4-3. Tennis. Yeah. He's got the momentum with him at the moment. Cinq, trois. Altmaier. Yeah, put a bit more speed on that last forehand. Jumping up very quickly there. Close to the baseline. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Oh, and it's 
that's white. It's a gift. I mean, they're both very tight at the moment. One ball, Altmaier dropped short. I thought that's one for Sinner to take on, but he didn't even attempt to go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the pressure got to both of them. They're both a bit tight. to play, pick up the back and down the line. Well, that's the shot that's been his trademark today. Six, cut. He finds himself with two chances to go to a fifth set here. Set points, Altmaier. This remarkable match is already four hours, 11 minutes old. It's going into a fifth set. This is what Grand Slam tennis is all about. The drama continues. Four and a quarter hours since the start of the match. And it comes down to a fifth set. If it goes to six all, it's a first to ten tie break. Sinner to get us underway. Merci, mesdames, messieurs. Les joueurs sont prêts. Finds the passing shot right away, Altmaier. Zero kills. Ready to go in this fifth set. Was again the back and up the line. Maybe going for it a bit too early there in the rally. Done. And this time he got very close to the net. Follow up with his legs. It makes it actually very, I mean, a lot easier to put the volley away. Oh. 
Hans oh, is man. missing those forehands in the middle of the court. Straight away in the first game, finds himself under a little bit of pressure here, 30 all. Played from Altmaier using all the angles there. A big chance here for him to get an early break. It's definitely not going to help Sinner's mood. Times there to come forward, Sinner. And it didn't matter. He was able to put that fine away. Take that rally with a bit more patience, a bit more margin. to handle there for the German. A bit more aggressive from Zinner. You never know, saving that break point might just free him up. That's a big hold for the yeah. Italian. He will feel particularly good, especially having saved that break point. changed at the start of 2000 that said that they would never break at the end of the first game it was that they walked straight through but seems to be getting longer and longer and longer and even with the shot clock the umpires don't insist when I mean, the shot clock's still not on which is really silly <laughs> the umpires just turned it on now so 23 seconds 22 21 Altmaier with new balls. Love one, final set. Cancero.
Excellent point by Altmaier. 30. There's also a big difference then when you're playing with new bolts. And a lot quicker, flying a lot more through the air. So there's always a big change because those bolts get fluffy very quickly. First game is quite important. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Didn't need to be that cute. He was in quickly enough behind it. A lot of pace to play with. Could have punched the volley. Yeah, we haven't seen a servant volley in a long time from him. Big moment to come up with a serve like that. Good serving. Oh. Sinner won all. Final set. As the shadow comes over, do you actually feel the ball travelling a little bit more slowly Can through the air? Ball. Or is it, well, while the sun's still up, even if the court's in shadow, does it not make much difference? I don't think it makes much difference. It's, it's the temperature that makes a difference. Okay. I think temperatures hasn't dropped yet, but I think it's tough when the court is like that, half shade, half sun. Visibility-wise. Exactly. Yeah. That's the biggest problem. Smiling, actually. <laughs> to those four backhands. Why don't they teach this backhand anymore? <laughs> I mean, that's you know, I know, I know why. It's because you don't make as much progress at the age of ten with a single hander. But a good coach must surely offer the right kids at the age of 11, 12, 13 the chance to switch, even if the results go down for a year, as they did with someone like Dominic Team. Yeah, I agree. But you know how it is nowadays. We're focusing too quickly, too much on results. Yes. And if some kid gets a sponsorship at 10 or 11 or a contract with the Federation, the National Association, and then they start losing matches, the funding will dry up. Yeah. And that's not the way you develop quality players.
it's not just his backhand. I mean, that forehand he hit just then. Oh. Excellent forehand and, and fluent. Really good technique. Elegant to watch. Sinel. Sinel holds to lead two games to one in the final set. Do you think this is going to make any difference to, uh, you know, uh, whoever wins this match, will they be in sort of precarious shape for their third round, having gone... It's not just five sets, it's the fact that this is going to get going to be close to five hours by the time it's finished. It's probably going to go over five it hours. It may even go over <laughs> five hours, yes. Um, well, I think nowadays those guys, they're, they're so fit and, and they have almost 48 hours to, to recover. So I think they, they'll be fine, but I think maybe later on in the tournament, that's what you said before, I mean, that, that's when maybe when, when they're going to feel it. But I don't think it's going to be a problem for the next round. Well, we know who the winner of this match is going to play, and that's Grigor Dimitrov. He's been Emil Rusevori in three straight sets. in the third round. Altmaier, 1-2, final set. Just the right amount on that volley. Yeah. I'm going back to what you're saying with Altmaier's technique, and then you're totally right. He, he looks, it looks perfect. But so why is why is this player not higher ranked? The ability to play the right shots at the right, right moment. moment. Because he's he's got, yeah, he's got everything. He has got everything. Good serve, good return, good volleys, moving well. Shots like that. Cancel. I mean, that was a genuine unforced error, as much as anything is. Yeah. And uh, I think the, also, the other thing is <coughs> that he is by far better on, much better on clay than on grass or hard. Mm -hmm. And his results on hard have been okay, but nothing like as good as his results on clay. And these days, you have to be a player on all surfaces. I agree. Certainly hard and uh, clay. You can afford to still have a thing about grass because it's only five weeks a year, six weeks if you count Newport. perform that well week in, week out, also yeah. on, on a challenger level. Exactly. I mean, here it's... it's He's playing in front of 9,000 people. It's not, it's easy. I'm not going to say it's easy to perform, but it's... Yeah. I think a lot of things makes it easier. You don't lack motivation. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and his next match might be in front of uh, three dozen people yeah. in a falling down <laughs> sports hall. Yeah.
resist it again. Has he sucked Sinner into Sontag. his web? Feels like it. Because, I mean, Sinner is playing with the margin that he wanted, but actually he doesn't trust himself to go for big shots anymore. Yeah, I agree. He's very careful there. But also the thing he doesn't do is he's not changing the rhythm there. He's going for the same shot over and over again. And I'm not saying he has to go for a drop shot or for a slice, but just maybe change the shape a little bit, put more spin on it sometimes. The slice from Altmaier drew the error from Sinner. Oh, that's so good. Seven volley. But this time he got the volley right. Crisp out in front of him. No backswing. And it's two games all. Just looking at my draw, Gilles. I mean, looking, trying to see who... Assuming that we have the Alcaraz Djokovic semi-final in the top half, which of the players left in is going to make it to the final and would make a decent final. There's, there's Runa, there's Sinner, there's Rude. I to wonder about Zverev at the moment. This is why, even if he has to go five hours, this is a golden opportunity for Sinner. Yeah, I agree. But do you think also maybe his performance today is to do with that? Maybe that's in the back of his head? Possible. He, he saw the draw and Medvedev's now gone. Yeah. So he should at least get to the semis, which would be new ground for him. Yep. Quite possibly. Can't get tired of seeing those. No. Right well, on the line. One little bit of sunshine and yeah. he found it. <laughs> Can't get it. Clever serving from Sinner. After. Oh, I hit that backhand. Went for the same backhand, said, go on then, do it twice. <laughs> oh. Sinner. And Sinner holds. And by Sinner being serving first, he is ahead as they change over. 3-2, final set. So let's get some results from elsewhere in the last hour. 
The defending women's champion, Iga Sviontek, is through. She had a very tight first set, but she's come through by exactly the same score. She came through her first round match. Then she beat Christina Buxa. This time she's beaten Claire Liu. And she will now play Xinhu Wang in the third round. And Bernarda Pera. American left-hander has come through against Donna Vekic. 22 seed has gone out. And Pera now plays Elisabetta Cocciarella. This is Ons Jabeur's eighth of the draw. Oh, the rush hour. Traffic leaves Paris, heads out to the west. These two started at 10 to 1 at lunchtime. It's now gone 5.30. Merci beaucoup. Altmaier, 2-3, final set. And they're not happy with that serve, but if he looks at it, he'll see there's a very clean white mark on the line. It's very good serving. Sina pushed that high forehand volley a little closer than he'd have intended. 30. Deal. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. I think it's tough to hit that return any better. I'm not sure what that little gesture from Sinner was implying. That, no, it's impossible, you don't do that. <laughs> Point for three all. <laughs> and Ruth Sinner's becoming wise to this tendency. Carlton. Of Altmaier to serve and volley. 
It's all very well using it as a surprise tactic, but if you use it too often, your opponent starts to get. Such a good serve. Not the speed, just the placement. Altmaier. Second point for three all. Let. Premier service. my question from earlier why don't coaches coach that <laughs> I mean, it's not the speed off the strings is it it's just the fact that it's tough to teach at an early age and it, there is you know even those people who hit with two hands just to acknowledge the aesthetic quality yeah. of that shot there is a fluency about it that you just don't get with the two-hander even Merci though there beaucoup. are some very fluent two-handers Three games all, Sinner. Zero games. First serve. Cancel. You see, I can see Sinna getting himself into a winning position again. What I'm not sure about is whether he has the confidence to finish it. Yeah, I agree. He's definitely not playing at his best today. At least for some parts of, the, of this match. It's harder counts. There have been very good moments also where he hit the ball very clean. also where he as you said lost the confidence to go through the ball hesitated a lot wasn't able to finish the points at the net missed a couple easy volleys such a good point by Altmaier Oh, my struggling with the elastic on his shorts. Well, no, it's the cord, I think. The elastic's fine. If you've got elastic, you don't need the cord, do you? <laughs> Two sets all, three games all, 30 all. Again, it's in the same position in the first game of the fifth set. Actually, very surprised how Altmaier is handling this situation. Only the second time in his career that he's playing a five-setter. He looks very calm, composed, 
The first one he lost us in her. Yeah. He's now got a second serve. There's the break, and it looked a rather tired backhand from Yannick Sinner. Altmaier leads 4-3, final set. Well, now Altmaier has something to lose. You spotted right at the beginning from the first game, Shield, that he was... He had a game plan, and he's done very well. But up to now, he's been the underdog. Yeah. Now, it will be a massive opportunity missed if he doesn't win this match. And now it's going to be very important. Just stay in the present, take it point by point. Don't think about what could come. Just How easy is it to take it point by point, though? I mean, it is very difficult. You can't put the score out of your mind. No, no, you can't. But you have to find a way to. They, they, I mean, there's a lot of players have different routines, and I mean, it's very individual. There's so many things that you can do no, to stay in the present, and but it's not easy. I totally agree with you. Les joueurs sont prêts, merci. S'il vous plaît. Altmaier. Serving at 4-3, final set. Ah. 15-0. Done. He's put two serves down, one of 197, one of 195. Followed one of them up with a very good drive volley. I mean, that's cool. Definitely looks like he take, he's taking it point by point. He does, <laughs> absolutely. He's heard you. Maybe Alberto Mancini said the same thing to him. Much more room to play with. It's too heavy handed. Oh, Forty fifteen. Two points for five three. What an excellent service sure, game yeah, from Mario. Daniel Altmaier. Really held his nerve. Altmaier, man. Cinq jeux à trois. Monsina lost from two sets up against Stefano Tsitsipas at the Australian Open earlier this year.
serving to stay in the match. 3-5, final set. Cancero. What a great point. Fantastic defending from Altmaier. It's actually amazing because I think right in the beginning of this rally, it was. the I, strings broke. I heard the sound and thought, oh, he can't have broken a string, otherwise he'd get to the net or something. But he actually was able to play, hit some decent shots with broken he strings. Did. I know. <laughs> but surely when you break a string, get to the net. Or do something silly like play a drop shot out of nowhere. But the sound of the ball off the strings. Yeah. Because I heard it too. I thought, oh, has he broken one? But the sound off the strings seemed fine. Fifteen all. So not leaving much space there. Tonkin. Cover it down the line. Somewhere it looks there. It's in his box. Can you blame them? Maybe it was the right shot to go for. And he grabbed the back of his left oh, thigh man. after that shot. Might have just been an itch. I just wonder whether he's feeling it in his legs. He always has this slightly lumbering walk, Sinner. Oh, my, looking so calm. This is the backhand. to the baseline. That's big. Some good hitting in that rally. Forty thirty point for four five. Sinner did not move to that again. He feels the back of the left eye. Could be just a bit of cramp. It has been five hours almost now of intensive tennis. See you Oh, 
That was tentative from Altman. Altmaier just pulled out of that backhand, Altmaier didn't swing through it cleanly. Yeah, I think he would love to finish it now instead of serving it out. The danger is if he has a match point in this game and then doesn't convert yeah. it and has to serve it out. That then becomes more tense. Well, they'll both be feeling it, no question. The clock's about to tick over to five hours. And Altmaier will be serving for the match in a minute at 5 4. So, what are you thinking in Yannick Sinner's shoes now? <laughs> Surely you just make the guy play the ball and see if his nerve can hold. And if it can, you just say too good. Yeah, exactly. But definitely try to to make Altma hit a lot of balls, not give away three points. It's been a remarkable match, this. I look forward to it, I have to say, because of the uh, clash in styles. But the... Uh, I never expected it to go this long. No, I agree. All credits to, to Altmaier. Five hours since the start of the match. Merci beaucoup. A maximum of three more games and a first to ten tie break. But it's on Altmaier's strings now. He is serving for the match. 5 4. from Altmaier. I said a few minutes ago, he's playing in front of 9,000 spectators. I think it's 10,000 now. This is, arena holds 10,500. I see a few empty seats, but I doubt if they make up anything like 500. Great atmosphere. successful with the drop shot. Kazan. It's actually... That's a choice, of, choice there to go for the drop shot. Because he hasn't been very successful with it, missed a few. And to go for it in that situation, it's either he wanted to be the rally over, that he's physically suffering, could be a bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> Altmaier was well behind the baseline. It was a good choice of shot. 15 all. Oh. Well, Altmaier did nothing wrong with the serve or the approach shot. 15 
Johnston who seems to have a lot of the support at the moment. Merci. Merci. Close. Quinze quarante. I don't think there's a lot that Altmaier has done wrong in this game. No. Nothing, to be honest. Can you feel like I mean he, he should have made that one that back end? Yeah. The court was wide open, he yeah. was on he was on it. It came with a lot of pace, but it wasn't as close to the sideline as Altmaier yeah. would have wanted. Still break back point. Oh, what a surf. 200 kilometers, but it's not the speed, it's the placement. Yeah. And the disguise as well. Flat serve out wide. Well, it's now an hour and 20 minutes since the second of Sinner's match points. The one where he had the smash off the bounce and was a little tentative with it. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Altmaier, two points from victory. forehand just to buy himself some time and then he loses it on a smash that dies off the top of the net well, the lob is a good tactic against Sinner today he's not looked sound overhead Third break back point. He was going for it in that point. He was going for the big interact shots. What a match. And you said it was not like Altmaier played a bad game there at all. I mean, Sinner just able to find another gear there. Well, I have this theory that you remember slams by the finals, but I think you might remember <laughs> this one for this match. Does the momentum swing back now to Sinner? 
Not convinced. Merci. Les joueurs sont prêts. Senna with the new balls. Five all, fifth set. It was very long. It was. And that's what often happens. If someone misses a serve by a lot. They're either very safe or very vulnerable on the next one. This man just keeps doing what he's doing. And much as the so crowd have been hard. chanting for Sinner, I think it's a knowledgeable crowd, this. They know that this guy is playing some glorious tennis. Sideways on for that backhand. A little more so to get it into out. Love 30. Three errors from Sinha. Uh, I mean, that's an unbelievable reaction from Art Miami. Mean, he was serving for the match, for his biggest win. Didn't do much wrong. Didn't do much wrong, but gets broken. But then you expect him maybe to go down a little bit, but no. Oh, Sinner's ringed a mark and said it's long. <laughs> Was that the right mark? I'm not sure that was where the ball... Well, I don't know. All happened so quickly. Gascon. But that return came back quicker than the surf. Wow. Two break points still. And the first signs of real anger from him, he almost smashed his racket. Six five, Altmaier leads. Altmaier gets another chance to serve it out. So much a matter of nerves now. He's got to stay in the zone. At the same time, he mustn't overthink it. Oh, 
Well, there's only one more conventional game. If Altmaier doesn't hold now, we go to a fourth tie-break in this absorbing match. Five Even hours, it. 13 minutes. Altmaier serving for the second time for the match. 6-5. Nice way to start it. The serve and the forehand. Well, whatever mental tricks he's performing, he's doing incredibly well. This is phenomenal serving. And an hour and a half after he saved two match points. Daniel Altmaier has a chance to wrap up his biggest win in five and a quarter hours. He has three match points. Sinek cleaned the baseline. <laughs> Car Walter Kans. This match doesn't want to finish. You can even see Alberto Mancini being a bit nervous there. Only a very cool customer. Match point number two. Long. That was the first time he's looked tight. Ooh. 133. So what does he do for this one? Does he go for a, a big one? Or does he just make sure he gets the first one in? It's a tough question. <laughs> I mean, he could, could find a big first serve, get a free point. If he misses it, he's got a nervy second yeah, serve. Yeah, exactly. So Match point number three. I would go for it. In fairness, Altmaier didn't get the depth he wanted. Yeah. But it's so difficult at this stage. So they both had multiple match points. Let. Oh. <laughs> well, who heard that? <laughs> Question then for Altmaier, does he go back down the tee or does he go out wide to the forehand? <laughs> he went out wide. So where does he go with this one? And I was the one that said, don't overthink it. <laughs> oh! What? has this match got for us <laughs> great serve he came forward careful smash and then that exquisite volley Avantage, Altmaier. we haven't got time to see a replay we must see that later unbelievable control on the forehand volley Merci beaucoup. it's match Merci. point number four for Altmaier
Well, Sinner missed his second one because he wasn't bold enough on the smash. I mean, is there anything in this match that hasn't happened? Played the point the perfectly there. Altmaier. Sinner just ripping that forehand. So they both missed match points on smashes where they were a little tentative. I'm not criticising, because it's match point. Super. Point of saying on the match point that the backhand oh, down the line has won it for him. <laughs> that time it let him down. play there big combination big first uh, big forehand coming in maybe having the break point against him freed him up slightly because <laughs> <laughs> that's the freest point he's played for a while although that's a little unfair to him because he's been he's been playing so well and in fairness Sinner has cut out his errors in this game yeah that's true yeah S'il vous plaît. Ah, oh, it's long. And Sinner with another chance to get back into this match. Avantage, Sinner. Second serve on break point. It's oh, right. right. Man, he can't believe it. But again, why go for the winner from that position there? He's way far behind the line there. Hit it big, hit it aggressively. Yeah, and he didn't. But don't go for the line. Well, exactly, because... Altmaier has shown signs of slight fragility in the last few points. there too much Avantage, uh, saw the gap down the line because it was a good serve and that's why he served out there to open up the court
That was a clever point by Altmaier. And I think that's the first time hey, I, I see Sinner throwing his racket on the tennis court. Understandable. Yeah. Frustration must be very high there. Merci. That's long. Next match point Altmaier. for Altmaier. Altmaier. Can he close it out now? Five hours, 25 minutes. Match point number five. And a game that's already 12 minutes long. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. He's won it! With an ace! Trois manches à deux, six, sept, sept, six, un, six, sept, six, sept, cinq. The number eight seed goes out. But this is a match that will live long in the memory. A warm embrace. A dramatic match, it had everything. But it wasn't just dramatic in terms of its tennis. It was highly entertaining. There were some wonderful rallies, a contrast of styles. Really excellent display of tennis. And whatever else happens at this Roland Garros, this will belong in the highlights program. Gilles Muller. I am speechless. And look at those emotions. Look what it means to him. And given what it means to him, just how well did he handle it at 5 4 and 6 5? Yeah. And 5 4 serving for it. Applauding Sinner as he goes off. Sinner's played his part in this. I know it's an upset that he's gone out, and that will make the headlines, but it takes two to make a great match. Perhaps showing up one or two limitations of Sinner's game still. Mesdames et messieurs, dans quelques instants, nous allons yeah, Sinner had it in his hands. En compagnie. Match points in the fourth set. Well, we're about to hear from Daniel Altmaier. A whole lot of kids want his autograph, but he's got to do his interview first. He will be talking with Marion Bartoli. See what the crowd's response mean to Altmaier, means to Altmaier. He's going to have difficulty doing this interview, I suspect. Might have difficulty playing Dimitrov on Saturday at this rate. But let, let's let him enjoy this moment. It may take a while for this interview to start. He's applauding the crowd. They were cheering for Sinner towards the end, but I think they love the way this guy plays tennis. Daniel.
Daniel, you fully, fully deserve that standing ovation. What a match today against Yannick. Absolutely incredible level of tennis for five hours, 26 minutes, the longest match of this tournament so far. You showed us incredible level of passion, of tenacity. How did you pull that one out right at the end of the wire? Well, I just love the game of tennis, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the, in the past months, uh, me, my team, we have been putting so much effort all together. Um, I can just say to everybody that we play here, but behind us we have such a strong team, and that's why my, this, this victory is a team effort. There were many precarious moments in that match. You had to save some match points at the end of that fourth set. Can you tell us and can you explain to this crowd how difficult it is at that moment mentally to still believe you can turn it around and win this match? Well, I mean, you know, playing every point you can with the best effort, that's, that's what keeps you in rea reality. So I was just sticking to that. And well, I mean, the, the competition says it all. I think we have had historical matches and um, there were so many match points there, there and there. And I think, yeah, well, I don't know if you can call it historical match, but I think it was uh, one to remember. You must have a very special feeling with Roland Garros. You achieved a fourth round here in the past. The only Grand Slam you made it to the first round was here. What is special about this place that brings you the best tennis out of yourself? I mean, personally, I love clay and I love, you know, the crowd and everything. So the emotions were crazy and I mean, um, without, I think, in the whole world, without fans, tennis wouldn't be the same. So I just appreciate every single one who puts the effort, who enjoys being here, to have a good time. That's the most important. And I think we have to do it throughout the world, everywhere. Well, you had some tears at the beginning of his interview, but I'm sorry there were tears of happiness and now you have a smile. So we keep you with that smile on your face. And of Thank course, you. once again, a huge congratulations Thank to you. you. Absolutely incredible effort.